Hello everyone, welcome to Hydropower. Today we will be talking about the source tank. Uh, a source tank is also known as a source chamber or a source dam. It is a reservoir or tank used in hydraulic system to control and manage sudden change in fluid pressure. It is commonly used in hydropower plant, water supply systems, pipelines and other fluid handling systems to prevent water hammer to pressure surge. And water hammer occurs when there is a rapid change in the flow rate of water within a pipe leading to a sudden increase in pressure which can cause damage to pies, valves and other components in the system. Source tanks helps mitigate water hammer effect by providing a cousin or buffer that absorbs and dampers the excess pressure. Here we have present the uh, typical lay picture of wa of source tank uh, from here the water is coming that's the flow direction uh, occurs from the headrest alignment either the headrest pipe or the tunnel and this one is source tank and after the source tank the pin stop occurs now after this let's talk about the function of source tank um, source tank have several important functions in fluid systems but practically in hydropower plants, water supply and pipeline systems. Let's talk some of the functions of source tank. Uh, the first one is water hammer protection. Water hammer protection in source tank, the source tank absorbs certain pressure chains in fluid system preventing water hammer and safeguarding pipes and equipment. And next one is pressure stabilization. By maintaining a consistent pressure by buffering variations caused by demand shift pump operation or valve valve closure pressure stabilization is occur and the next one is equipment protection source tank protect pumps valves and pipelines from potential damage due to pressure source and water hammer and the next one is cavitation protection by smoothing out pressure fluctuation, source tank reduces the risk of cavitation, preserving the integrity of equipment. Uh, after cavitation, we have emergency water supply. In the water supply system, source tanks serve as emergency water storage during high demand or supply interruptions. The next is flow rate regulation. Source tank helps to control and regulate flow rates by adjusting their size and characteristics of the flow. The next is efficiency maintenance. Uh, source tank contribute to system efficiency by minimizing pressure fluctuation, ensuring reliability and reducing the needs of frequent maintenance. After the function of the source tank, let's talk about the behavior of source tank. The behavior of source tank is characterized by its response to change in fluid flow within a system. Here are the key behavior associated with the function. The first is pressure management. The source tank absorbs excess pressure preventing water hammer and release stored fluid to stabilize pressure level. The next one is Flow control. Source tank smooth out variation in fluid flow, ensuring a constant and controlled rate. After the fluid flow, transient response. Source tank provide a temporary buffer representing to rapid change in demand until a new equilibrium is released. Causing effort. Effort. Causing effort. Act, uh, it act as a cousin. They reduce the impact of hydraulic shocks and protect system components. After that, the volume adjustment. In the volume adjustment, source tank allow for the temporary storage or release of fluid that adjustable volume to suit system dynamics. In the next, the emergency supply of the water or the fluid. In the emergency supply, Water supply system 
the source tank serves as the emergency reservoir ensuring a temporary water supply during peak demand or interruptions and next is emergency enhancement <clears throat> by preventing water hammer and stabilization pressure source tank contribute to overall system efficiency and stabilization after the behavior of the source tank will go to the types of the source tank source tank are also characterized based on the conditions and availability of construction material to address specific needs in fluid system here are some common types the source tank are basically classified based on the construction material of the source tank on the construction material of the source tank either they are of the concrete or they can be of the steel structures the next one is based on location with respect to ground profile with respect to the ground profile the uh, source tank can be of an underground source tank or overground source tank or excavated source tank or freestanding source tank beside this the source tank are based on the head available for the project source tank are further classified as on the basis of head with either the high head project plants or medium head plants or the low head plants after that it can be classified on the basis of the location of the hydraulic system on that the source tank can be classified as upstream side of the source tank or downstream side of the source tank as well as on the basis of hydraulic functioning and cross section shape the source tank can be a simple cylindrical source tank uh, restricted orifice source tank, differential source tank, source tank with expansion chambers, and etc. Beside this, the other type of source tank are simple source tank. A simple source tank is a basic source tank design with an air cousin that absorbs pressure variation and control water hammer in pipelines. The next is open source tank. In the open source tank, a source tank with an open top and allow air to combine in contract with the fluid, facilitating the release or absorption of gases and preventing cavitation. And the next is closed source tank. Closed source tank is sealed to prevent air exchange with the surrounding atmosphere. It is suitable for system where Preventing gas exchange is essential. The next type of source tank is tall and short column source tank. Source tank with a tall column of water preventing a large cohesion volume to absorb and release pressure changes in tall pipelines. Whereas the short column source tank is suitable for system with lower vertical head requirement. Uh, the other type of source tank are diaphragm source tank which is a flexible diaphragm to separate air and water allowing for control expansion and contraction of the air volume to manage pressure fluctuation and the next is compensating source tank a source tank designed to compensate for the variable demand in water supply helping to maintain a more consistent pressure is said to be compensating source tank and the next is pressure reducing source tank uh, this type of source tank are designed to reduce high pressure within a system this source tank releases access fluid when pressure exists a predetermined determined level after the source tank types let's talk about the basic design criteria for the source tank the basic design criteria for source tank the design of source tank involves considering various factors to ensure its effective phenomena in managing pressure fluctuation in a fluid system. Here we are discussing some of the basic design criteria for source tank. The first one is volume capacity. Appropriate volume of the source tank is accumulated. The expected transient change in fluid flow shall be determined where the tank's volume should be sufficient to absorb excess fluid during high demand and release it during low demand. The next is 
the height of the water column. The height of the water column in the source tank shall be considered. Tall columns are suitable for system with high vertical heads, while shorter columns may be adequate for system with low heads. The next consideration is air volume and compression. Calculation of the air volume in the source tank ensuring to provide adequate for pressure change. Also consideration the compressibility of air and design in this tank to accumulate variation in air volume without causing excessive pressure fluctuation. The next consideration is air water separation. For source tank with air water separation, ensure effective separation mechanism to prevent air from dissolving into water which can lead to cavitation. Next is location and material selection. It is one of the major part on the design of source tank. The optimal location of the source tank within the fluid system shall be considered along with the factors such as proximity to pumps, bulbs and high demand areas to maximize its effectiveness and the compatible material with the fluid being handled and resistant to corrosion with common materials like steels, concrete or reinforced plastics are selected. The next is bulbs and pipe sizing. Sizing of the inlet and outlet pipes are associated bulbs properly to ensure smooth fluid flow into and out of the source tank by minimizing resistance and pressure losses. The next design criteria is emergency storage capacity. It is the major factor for the uh, source tank. In the water supply system, source tanks are designed to provide emergency storage capacity allowing the temporary supply during peak demand and interruption in the water sources. And the next is pressure rating. In the source tank and its components are designed to withstand the maximum expected pressure within the system to avoid structural failures like anchor blocks, saddle supports or the power structures etc. Instrumentation monitoring and maintenance access. Instrumentation for monitoring water levels, pressures and other relevant parameters should be considered for the real-time assessment of the source tank's performance with convenient access point for inspection, maintenance and cleaning to ensure long-term reliability shall be considered while designing. Mm. After this criteria, uh, let's talk about the design consideration of the source tank. The design consideration of the source tank. Designing a source tank involves careful consideration of various factors to ensure its effectiveness in mitigating pressures, fluctuation in a fluid system. Here are the key design consideration. The first one is stability condition. Uh, in the stability condition, small water level fluctuation during the operation should be damped and water in the source tank should be made stable. The next is off source condition. In the off source condition, the top elevation of source tank should be higher than the up surging water level due to rapid interruption in full load. The third one is down surge condition. In the down surge condition, the bottom elevation of source tank should be lower than the down surging level due to rapid load increases from a half to full load rejection. In no cases, air should be drawn into the pipes. And the last uh, major design consideration is damping condition. In a source, a source tank should be damped even if the succeeding load fluctuation arise. After all this, let's talk about the design of mass oscillation in source tank. In this, the controlling mass oscillation in a source tank involves understanding the dynamic fluid flow and pressure change. Here, we can outline the basic principle and equation involved in source tank design, especially focusing on the moment equation and water surface velocity. Here, the typical diagram of the uh, source tank is presented. Now, after this, the fundamental equation governing the fluid flow is the conservation of mass equation which can be expressed as is a1 
P1 equals A2 P2 where A is the cross-sectional area of the pipe and B is the fluid velocity. Now the momentum equation which relates the force exerted on a fluid to its ratio rate of change of momentum can be expressed as P1 plus 1 by 2 P1 square where P is pressure, rho is the fluid density, uh, B is the fluid velocity, G is the acceleration due to gravity and H is the height of the fluid column. Now consider a source tank where water enters and exits. The rate of change of momentum in the source tank is critical in understanding and controlling mass oscillation. by d m p by at time d t equals a del h divided by del t into rho v where m is the mass of fluid in the tank v is the velocity of water in the tank a is the cross sectional area and del h by d t is the rate of change in water height of the source tank to control mass oscillation, the focus is often on designing the source tank to minimize rapid change in water height, that is del S by del T. This can be achieved through apromex source tank volume damping mechanism and control system. So for today, we end up the class for this much. We will come again with one new video. Till then. Keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe or like our channel, subscribe and thank you.